Okay, everybody, we've got uh, some weather to get to over the next few days. We've got a weather system that's going to be arriving tomorrow evening after, say, 6 o'clock with rain coming in from southwest to northeast across the viewing area. And once it starts, uh, it is going to be quite soggy uh, through the remainder of Friday evening and into Saturday morning, picking up between likely three quarters of an inch and an inch of rainfall. Some of these models have been printing out even more than that for uh, I-94 and uh, sections of the such. So we've got uh, a pretty moisture laden low pressure system that is going to be arriving, but not until about 24 hours plus from now. 34 degrees we've got on the thermometer locally. It is 37 in Kalamazoo. So milder air is slowly but surely working in from the south. And I can tell you this much that 34 there uh, likely we will have temperatures that'll be above 34 this time of day for the next seven to 10 days around the region. So we are just getting started on a milder weather pattern. And you know that if you've been watching us the last few days, that to come in uh, really for tomorrow back into the 40s by day's end. Cloudy skies this evening, eventually into the overnight. I think the clouds do thin out just a bit. So there should be a several hour stretch there where we thin them out uh, and then the next system starts to get closer and that'll bring in clouds through tomorrow morning and afternoon, though there actually may be a little filtered or dimmed sun on Friday morning. It won't last a real long time because rain developing, as I said, after 6 p.m. on Friday. That means that the majority of Friday is actually going to shake out dry, though. But once it starts, it gets really wet uh, tomorrow evening and then on the back side of the system, Boy, the winds are really going to crank up on Saturday as cooler air begins to funnel in. That's after we reach 52 degrees in the early morning hours. How about a 50 mile per hour wind gust? That is a possibility. A high wind watch now issued from the National Weather Service for the day on Saturday. Upper 50s, though, we get to by Wednesday and Thursday of next week. Check out this seven day. Amazing. 43 tomorrow, 52 on Saturday. Again, that's an early morning high. We'll fall through the 40s into the 30s by late day and evening. But then with sunshine in full supply, Sunday and Monday back well into the 40s. How about a 50 on Tuesday and then upper 50s? I do believe Wednesday and Thursday. So milder times ahead. No accumulating snow out there. It doesn't look like for quite a while. Temperatures lower half of the 30s, central and northern zones, upper 30s to near 40 degrees, in fact, in Benton Harbor and 45 in Chicago O'Hare. So we're starting to get closer to that milder air mass. Southeast winds at about 5 to 10 to 15. Feels like temperatures running in the mid 20s. Future track model takes any of those flurries that were out there a couple hours ago and uh, removes them from our neck of the woods. The clouds coming and going here into the overnight, thickening up though late morning and afternoon tomorrow. And watch this as we get towards 6, 7 o'clock uh, on the European model. Now rain coming in pretty widespread, heavier pockets in there as well. And you know what? There may be a rumble of thunder, Janice, uh, later tomorrow night into early Saturday. Low pressure goes by. It's windy big time on Saturday. And then it quiets down on Sunday. Sunshine warms us up back into the 40s. And check out this seven day forecast. It is very, very nice. Quiet next week. Not a chance for any rain until Thursday. Highs in the upper 50s. We got more news after the break.